When it comes to mindset regarding money and spending habits, the wealthy have a distinct approach that helps them maintain and increase their wealth while still indulging in life's luxuries. Here's the good news for you. You can also adopt this mindset to become wealthier while still spending money on enjoyable experiences, buying cool things, and earning money from various income sources. Contrary to the wealthy, the poor and middle class have their own sets of behaviors and beliefs, but surprisingly, the three aren't so different from each other. First, let's talk about the poor. For them, money is tight, and they're just trying to get by. But their problem isn't just income. When they have a little extra money, they often spend it on trinkets, small, cheap things that bring a brief pleasure in their daily lives. These are things people buy to get pleasure for maybe a minute or two, an hour, or maybe even a day, but the happiness from these items is extremely fleeting. Making things worse, these useless items are often things that worsen life, such as concerning health, for example, buying cigarettes, unhealthy drinks, and junk food. These things aren't necessarily expensive in themselves, but the problem is that people make a habit of routinely buying them, often right after getting paid, prioritizing them over other more serious expenses like safe and reliable transportation or a comfortable home. The problem is that buying trinkets really doesn't help them progress financially. It's like a short-term dopamine boost that doesn't solve any long-term problems, and the cycle repeats with every pay period. The worst part is that these people often have no idea where they spend all their money. It was randomly wasted on many small purchases, including snacks at the gas station and other impulse buys. Next, we have the middle class. They're not struggling like the poor, but they're also not super rich. For them, money is about enjoying life and showing off a bit. They like to buy toys, fancy gadgets, nice clothes, maybe a flashy car, mainly assets that depreciate. These things make them feel good and impress their friends. But here's the thing, toys don't last. They're fun for a while, but the novelty factor is fleeting, which only leads them to seek the next thrill. Unfortunately, the financial setback of many of these purchases is not as temporary as the satisfaction they provide. These toys hinder the middle class from achieving their financial goals because they spend too much on things that don't really matter in the long run. They often use debt to buy these items, which means they can't really afford them, but they're seduced by easy credit, mortgages, car payments, and credit card debt. And before they realize it, they're going to work five days a week, 50 weeks a year, just to make the minimum payments. They were so caught up in spending money that they piled monthly payment after monthly payment until they were maxed out. This is a cycle the middle class gets trapped in. They might dabble in investments, like a 400,000 plan, but that usually isn't at the top of their financial priorities, as the little they contribute isn't the key to substantial wealth accumulation. Instead, their focus often turns to conspicuous consumption, a desire to acquire items that project an image of wealth and success, even if it means stretching their finances and drowning in monthly payments. This tendency to live beyond their means can lead to a relentless cycle of working just to keep up with financial obligations, with each paycheck earmarked for bills instead of meaningful endeavors. Consequently, the middle class finds itself stuck in the daily grind, sacrificing their time and energy to ensure their bills are paid, rather than seeking paths that could lead to long-term financial security and prosperity. They fail to realize that the things they're buying are essentially meaningless. These items may provide joy for a few moments or days after purchase, but the joy of these items quickly fades, leaving behind only the financial scar and, in many cases, debt that will be owed for years to come. They're too busy caught in the same cycle of trying to keep up with their bills to realize this. Finally, we have the rich. They're the ones who have figured out how to make money work for them, and it wasn't all luck. For them, money isn't just about buying things. It's about earning more money, not necessarily to become ultra-rich, but to have a continuous stream of passive income, so that work becomes an option. They focus on acquiring assets, like investments, businesses, and real estate, that will appreciate in value over time, rather than spending all their money on things that depreciate. They put their money into things that make them earn even more money. It's like they're playing a completely different game, and it's one that leads to lasting wealth and financial security. The rich enjoy spending money, but not in the same way as the poor and the middle class. They prefer to spend on experiences and things that bring real joy, rather than trying to keep up appearances or impress. Rich people aren't interested in spending just to show off or to one-up someone they don't like. 
They prefer to buy things that last and truly make them happy, rather than just flashy things. This includes things like family vacations that provide a lifetime of priceless memories or high-quality clothing that will last for decades. Moreover, they're not big fans of using credit to buy things before they have the money. Instead, they put their money into things that will increase in value. They focus on building assets that bring in money without them needing to work for it. Their priorities are entirely different when it comes to things they like to spend money on and how they're financing those purchases. Here are some basic rules you should consider implementing in your life if you want to adopt the mindset of the wealthy and avoid getting stuck in the rut with your head down. Put your money into things that will grow over time and produce income, which in turn will be used to buy fun things. Even though it may seem like it will take an eternity to see results, you'll be pleased with the outcome sooner than you think. The money from these investments will cover your bills. But remember, this approach requires patience as you focus on the long term rather than giving in to the temptation of easy credit to buy something now. Be willing to wait, after all. What are you really sacrificing besides buying things you'll regret? Start by saving 10 to 15% of what you earn and try to increase whenever possible. When you receive a raise, don't rush to spend it on a new car payment. Instead, put that extra money into your investments. This way, you're investing in yourself, in your future. It's a great way to kickstart your investment journey and start seeing results sooner rather than later. Refrain from making purchases using borrowed money. Instead, consider borrowing only for items you can afford with your own finances. The mindset of the wealthy is to use borrowed money only when it makes financial sense, rather than relying on it out of sheer necessity or impatience. As you can see, there are some important distinctions in the mindset of the poor, the middle class, and the wealthy. Sometimes, a change in behavior is all that's needed to achieve financial success. But first, you must realize what keeps these people in poverty or the middle class before getting too caught up in emulating that behavior. In the end, each group has its own way of thinking about money, whether it's buying trinkets, toys, or assets. The key is to think about what you truly want to do with your money and how you can use it to build the life you desire, to get out of the rat race and start thinking like the wealthy. By adopting the mindset of the wealthy, you not only pave the way for a more stable and prosperous financial life, but also for a more meaningful and satisfying existence. Instead of being trapped in an endless cycle of consumption and debt, you can direct your resources toward building a solid future full of possibilities. However, this mindset shift doesn't happen overnight. It requires self-awareness, discipline, and a constant commitment to your financial goals. You can start small by making gradual adjustments to your spending habits and investing in financial education. As you gain confidence and experience, you can expand your strategy in a broader and more ambitious way. Moreover, it's important to recognize that wealth is not just about the money you accumulate. It's about living a full and satisfying life with purpose and meaning. The wealthy understand this and prioritize not only financial growth, but also personal development, meaningful relationships, and contributions to the greater good. So, as you strive to build your own fortune, remember to maintain a balanced perspective and focus on what truly matters. It's not just about accumulating material wealth, but about cultivating a life of abundance in all its forms. In summary, by adopting the mindset of the wealthy, you are committing to a more conscious, responsible, and fulfilling lifestyle. You are choosing a path of personal growth and lasting prosperity. So, Start today to transform your relationship with money and build the future you deserve. This will allow you to enjoy the best of both worlds, an income to sustain your lifestyle and the things that make life enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed this video exploring different mindsets regarding money and spending. If you found value in these reflections, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content on personal finance, investments, and tips for achieving financial freedom. Leave your comments below sharing your own experiences and perspectives. I look forward to continuing this conversation with you. Until the next video,